Nice. Look at all that room. Taco. You like tacos? Hi, this land is mystery. There's so much sunlight this time of year in Alaska and it all reflects off the snow. So now it's just lots of light and my face is really red. I don't know why my face is always shiny. Anyway, hi. So I've only got a few weeks left at this house sit, uh, and then I'll be kicked to the curb and I'll be forced to make this rig into a livable space out in the wild. It was in the shop for a couple weeks. Putting a system in this bitch? Why is it all stripped? I wouldn't mind one of these. I'd probably do the same thing. But I'd put a bed and shit back there and then right. tin all the windows so that way I could go in a Walmart parking lot or something. Right. And nobody can see anything. Right. Nobody would ever know. The gas light's below E. So how do you make it go away? Uh, put gas in it. <laughs> if you watched my last video, at the end of it, I had a little teaser. And in the teaser, I showed uh, what happens when your ball joints go bad on a 2002 Toyota Sequoia. <laughs> So that happened. Fortunately, it could have been a lot worse. I could have been in traffic. It could have happened while I was driving up in the middle of the Yukon. I'm not one of those like look on the bright side kind of guys, but in this situation, like it could have been so much worse. So you can see there's some body damage. But I gotta get on this because it's gonna start to rust. The most frustrating part about all this is that I had an appointment the next week to take it in to have the ball joints replaced. But didn't get there in time. A lot of new stuff underneath. A lot of very expensive stuff underneath, but I'm glad it's all taken care of. Most of it needed to be done anyway. There are a few issues going forward. The uh, lower control arms still need to be done. They're seized and so I can't get the vehicle aligned. Uh, I've got the, got a little work to do on the steering column, but the major things now are done. So since I've had the vehicle back now for a couple of weeks, I installed my rear actuator and new locking mechanism. After I move the duct, it's, you know, it's a little bit more headspace. One cool thing is I, I stuck my hand way, way in there and I found an old copy of the, uh, the uh, Declaration of Independence. This is really about as close as you're going to get to the original one. So the heater core over here is gone. I just removed that a couple days ago. It had two coolant lines and it had two AC lines running from the front of the vehicle. So four lines total that I had to take care of. The coolant lines were really easy. I just cut off the delivery and the return uh, under the hood and I just ran a 90 degree elbow and connected them together.
The AC lines were a little more difficult because there was refrigerant and it was under pressure. So I had to take it into a shop so they could evacuate the AC system. And then I took a pipe cutter, went underneath here and just and cut the two AC lines. And then I was able to get the heater core out of here. And my diesel heater eventually uh, will be here. So I sprayed an enamel coating on there, rust protector. And this is that spray foam, it's closed cell spray foam insulation just to plug those gaps. And the next time you breathe out, if it feels more comfortable, if you're in a place where it's easy and safe to do so, you can just gently close your eyes. I've never used any kind of noise reduction stuff in a car before. You're supposed to roll it on so you shouldn't see any bumps once it's all in place. The procedure is you lay the tacky stuff down, roll it, and then the bumps disappear. That's how you know it, it adhered. But I don't have a roller. It favors the provider because more reliable revenue streams uh, get valued at a higher multiple. So it's good for the practice that can move to subscription. What's making me lean forward? What's making me want to rewind it and listen to it again? What makes me want to, when I'm walking in the museum, go back and look at that painting again? Why do I like that one? Guys, it's time to stop treating your groins like junk. Introducing the new Intimate Pubic Hair Trimmer from Gillette. I've put some of this uh, inside, like, in here uh, eventually i'm going to put it in the door panels and maybe up on on the ceiling as well i don't know yet since this is where most of the noise comes from i'm going to double up on the wheel wells whopper 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 junior double triple whopper friend rotation So this is definitely going to be a summer long project, I'm finding out. Things always go faster when they're in your head. 
and when you don't drop a ball joint on the highway. I like this. I enjoy this kind of thing. I enjoy the, I mean, this really is like a creative process. I'm building my own home. I don't even know exactly how I'm going to build it out yet. I keep going back and forth about how to, um, how to properly build this thing out for my needs and uh, my desires. Yeah, have a great day and I'll see you in the world.